Welcome back to Art Massacre. This week we draw some Dungeons and Dragons characters and Todd McFarlane's Spawn. I was attempting to try a painted version of this character, uh, but it didn't really work out the way I wanted to. I think my method was kind of flawed, so I ended up kind of just painting away at him for a while and then coming back to him later and adding line art on top of it. He was actually just my warm-up drawing for the day and about like three hours into it I realized I was still noodling away at it. I was never really happy with him but I already invested that much time so I decided I'll finish him up, I'll call my friends, I'll figure out what their characters look like and I'll draw it all before our D&D adventure that weekend. At this point I'm just playing around with the general tone or look of the scene Trying to find something that I really like or a look. I pulled in a sample drawing to get some reference uh, for Foda, a buddy Paul's character. I really was experimenting on trying to figure out different ways to get a painted look uh, without using too much line art. That's why my uh, ink lines kind of look painted over. Toward the end of the drawing, I kind of remedy that and go over with some more solid line work on those first two characters. But everyone after this, I kind of just draw like a regular comic book, uh, ink lines, and then color underneath it. So this guy is a gnome barbarian uh, who wears a rabbit hat. Uh, I was really happy how the hat turned out. You got a little tail poof ball on the top of his pointed little gnome hat. This is the first uh, I've ever drawn any of these characters, so I'm designing them on the fly here. Um, this is a tiefling. Uh, never drawn one before. I hope that looks like a tiefling of some sort. Now we're on to the final detail coloring, uh, really helping everyone pop out a little bit better. Um, so I have to add some final line work, I believe, to the middle guy, but other than that, uh, it's all just touch-up coloring. And that's my fun little D&D uh, &D drawing. Off to shovel a little bit more, and after that, I'll start squeezing in my little spawn drawing. The thing I love the most about the iPad is being able to draw wherever you're at. You know, you don't have to be at home, you don't have to be sitting at your desk slaving away. You could be at a coffee shop, you could be anywhere, and that's kind of how spawn started. It was kind of late at night, and I was just kind of doodling and sort of noodling away at it here and there as I was doing some other things. Spawn is such a cool looking character. I tell you what, drawing all these chains, not my idea of a fun time. I mean, it looks really neat when it's all said and done, but it is a pain in the rear end to do. Now we're into the inking of the drawing. Um, I have this all kind of drawn and inked and colored on separate layers so the main body is done on its own ink layer the chains are done on a completely different ink layer and the cape on its own layer as well uh, and the reason I kind of did them all on separate layers well because it's easy to fix a mistake but uh, I want to be able to in the coloring process you able to separate out the cape from the body so I can uh, add some like lighting effect to give it a little bit more depth. I jump around inking or uh, refining certain parts that I'm more comfortable with first and 
coming to the parts I'm a little bit more dodgy about later on. Uh, Got to build up the confidence before I really tighten in some of the black areas to make sure I'm not ruining the shape of the body. Getting into the fine detailing, all the little hash marks and little dashes and to make it look a little more worn and beat up. Now on to dealing with the cape, you'll see I've done this color lines and darkness to help me figure out uh, the flow of this giant billowing cape behind him. pieces are really starting to come together so I'll start adding the color to really make it start looking like spawn like I said uh, the main body is separate from the cape and the chains are separate from the body and cape as well so I can uh, select them out easily uh, for coloring purposes I had considered drawing a background uh, originally but I had decided that for one, his cape takes up so much space on this picture that it'd just kind of be wasted effort. And secondly, I don't really want to draw a city in the background. That sounded really, like, laborious. And this is supposed to be a fun piece, so we're just going to make it uh, atmospheric instead. And that'll about do it. Uh, I hope you enjoy my spawn piece and my Dungeons & Dragons characters this week. Uh, until next time, I hope you all have a great week. Thanks for joining me.